Hello friends, this video on Amines part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's see this C6H5N2 Cl. If you see this disonium salt, you add CoCN, what will happen is this N2 Cl will be replaced with Cn. So what you get as A here is Cn. Right, cyanobenzene. Correct. Then you are doing H plus in water. This will become COH. That is benzoic acid. So B is my benzoic acid. And then benzoic acid you are reacting with NH3. So what will happen is you will get CONH2, that is benzamide. This is what you will get. This is my benzene. So from here cyanobenzene to benzoic acid to benzamide. So I have meth eth ethyl bromide it reacts with KCN. Same thing happens. CN minus will replace this Br. So what you will get AS this compound that is sorry CN. You will get CN here. Yeah. That is cyanoethane. Correct. Now, when cyanoethane reacts with LiLH4, what will happen is so this triple bond will break here and hydrogen will be added here and here, here, here. So, what you will get here is 1, 2, C with 2 hydrogens here and end with 2 hydrogens. And here also obviously there are hydrogens which I have not shown. This is what you will get. That is with a probe propane amine. Right? Propane amine. Now when you are heating this with uh, HNO2 at 0 degrees Celsius, what you will get is alcohol. That is propanol. Correct. The next is I have this nitrobenzene react with Fe and HCl. What will happen? This NO2 will be converted into NH2. So what A will be? Nothing but NH2 here. That is my aniline. Aniline when it reacts with Na, Na2, and HCl. What will happen? It will form diazonium salt. Into Cl. That is benzene diazonium chloride. This is benzene diazonium chloride. When you react this with water, what will happen? This will become phenol. We have seen this kind of reactions. Correct. Let's see this reaction CS3COH when it reacts with NS3. It forms CS3CONH2. We have seen this reaction. Correct. Now when it reacts with NaOBr, CO part will go. It's Hoffman reaction. So it becomes CS3NH2. So B is my CS3NH2. That is methane amine. And then when this reacts with NaNO2 and HCl, it should form what? It should form a diazonium salt, but that will be unstable. So in the way it will form alcohol. Correct? NaNO2 HCl, if you see, it will form what? CS3 N2 Cl. But it is very unstable. So it will break and in water it will form CH3OH. Nitrogen gas will come out. So when this reacts with water, you get this alcohol and nitrogen gas and HCl. This is what you'll get C because this is very unstable. So C will be my methanol. This is the reaction. The next is again C6H5NO2 is nitrobenzene. When you react with FeHCl, what will happen is this will convert into oxygen will convert into hydrogen. 
correct so what i'll get is this product nh2 so once i have nh2 here i am reacting with hno2 again i'll trying to form a diazonium salt so b will be into cl because hno2 is nothing but nano2 in hcl this is my salt benzene diazonium chloride that's my b once the salt i have i am reacting with the alcohol so if you see now here i have a coupling reaction so when this reacts with oh here i have seen told that this h and this cl will come out will form a bigger compound of this form this is the c right this is para hydroxy azo benzene correct so as i told that if i have a diazonium salt if it reacts with electron rich aromatic compound it forms a bigger compound this is used for dye actually this is colored compound the next is C6H5NH2 it reacts with CaCl3 in alcoholic KH. This is my carbalamine reaction, right? So it will form isocyanides. So it will form C6H5NC. That is a foul smelling. And it will form my water molecules and KCl. So we have seen this reaction mechanism also. Correct, this is phenyl isocyanide, foul smelling. Phenyl isocyanide. The next is I have C6H5N2Cl, that is my diazonium salt. And it reacts with S3PO2. And what it will get? It will give you what? This will be replaced with hydrogen. This is a reducing agent. This will get oxidized to H3PO3. Right? So, what will happen is I will get C6H6 and this will become H3PO3. It will get oxidized to H3PO3 and it will reduce this diazonium salt and you get HCl as here. And nitrogen gas will go off. So, we have seen this kind of reaction. We have this. Uh, Diazonium salt, you react with ethanol or S3PO2, you get N2Cl replaced with hydrogen. The next is C65NH2 with sulfuric acid. So, what will happen here is this is base and this is acid, they'll form a salt, they'll form a salt. That will be NH3 plus HSO4 minus. So it will be anilium hydrogen sulfate. That is a form of anilium hydrogen sulfate, acid base reaction. This is a coupling reaction. This is a diazonium salt. No, this is not a coupling reaction. Why? Because this is not a rich, electron rich aromatic compound. This is just an alcohol. And if you see, alcohol will get oxidized to aldehyde, and this N2Cl will be replaced with hydrogen. So we have seen this, right? Instead of using S3PO2, we can also use alcohol air. So what we'll get here is C6H6, right? This N2 series is replaced with the hydrogen here, and what you get is this becomes my aldehyde because it's oxidized to aldehyde, and nitrogen gas comes off, and remaining is HCl. Correct. Please note that if the same thing you react with, let's suppose phenol, then you'll have coupling reaction. Then you'll have coupling reaction actually. So this will give you product.
it doesn't be a coupling reaction you get this product but this is not phenol this is just ethanol right this is not electron rich aromatic compound so ethanol will get oxidized to aldehyde and this n2 cl will be replaced with hydrogen thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching